What's up y'all, Jacob Owens here for the Buff Nerds and today I'm headed to Europe, Greece, Italy, all over the place and so I figured I would go through my bag, what's in my travel bag 2018 edition. So as I just said, I'm headed to Europe today. It's about to be crazy. I'm headed over there with my girlfriend, Futuristic, and uh, a couple other friends. And basically, we're just gonna go all over Greece. We're taking a Greek island cruise, going all over Italy, hitting up like seven different cities. So it's about to be a crazy fun adventure. And I, of course, I cannot go over there without bringing all my camera gear. So today I'm gonna run through 2018 edition, what I have in my camera bag, and what are my essential tools to take on a trip like this. The big daddy, my red dragon. Can't go anywhere without my red dragon. I take it everywhere now when I travel on trips. I used to take my 1DX, but ever since I started taking my red, I now take my red and I take the Canon 6D Mark II, which is what I'm filming this video with. I use the Canon 6D Mark II because it's solid with video and photos and I just needed something smaller, lighter, compact that I could take photos with because I'm mainly shooting all video on this guy right here. 6K, Red Dragon, this will be the A camera of the whole trip. I will have it built out with my Canon lenses, which I'll show you in a second top handle, kind of some other accessories, but this will be my main camera for shooting. So like I said, I also have the 6D, which I'm gonna use for photos and maybe some vlog style stuff. I don't like to vlog, but I may shoot or do one kind of big trip vlog. I have the 6D, again, for all photos. Love the camera, super small, versatile, lightweight, flip out screen, holds a lot of memory, battery charged really well. Um, I really like that camera for on the go stuff. Next, the GoPro. Uh, you always, always have to have a GoPro on any trip you go, especially where there's water. This is the GoPro Hero 6. So I'm gonna be taking this with this little handheld rig. I brought a little head mount as well uh, for when I'm like snorkeling or just kind of going around to get a first person point of view as I go through Rome, Greece, Greece uh, all the different cities in Italy. So I'll be using kind of a head mount, this hand mount, GoPro 6 gotta always have a GoPro when you travel. All right, so now that we talked cameras, let's get into lenses. Then after that, memory, because those are the two biggest important things on a trip, lenses and memory, as opposed to your camera. I mean, obviously your camera's super important too, like you need a camera to shoot stuff, but you also need lenses and you need memory to store it. Lenses, first up, one of my favorites, the Canon 70-200 f2.8. This thing is a beast. Um, the image stabilization on it is amazing and that's super crucial, especially when you're dealing with a camera like the RED where there is no in-body camera stabilization like a Sony a7S or some cameras like that. You need lenses to uh, that kind of have some image stabilization to help out, especially when you're traveling and on the go a lot. So this is my big zoom lens. I take this thing everywhere. Um, this is my favorite zoom lens I've used to date and uh, it's held up for like four or five years now. After that is actually the lens that's being used on this camera right now, which is my favorite lens and pretty much the lens that stays on the camera the entire time. That is the 24 to 105 F4 Canon L series lens. My favorite lens because it's so versatile. You can go wide at 24, you can zoom in to 105. It's got image stabilization. It's just a really solid on the go lens so you're not always having to switch on and out. The last trip I took to Hawaii, it was literally the only lens I used. Uh, one for just portability and not having to bring a bunch of lenses, but it's just super versatile. I could go wide and then two seconds later be punched in, zoom in zoomed in without having to switch and swap lenses. So it just makes on the go travel filmmaking or just traveling in general super easy and you don't waste a lot of time or potentially miss a shot. Next, the Canon 16 to 35. This is my favorite wide angle lens. This is the F4 with image stabilization as well. Again, all the lenses I have have image stabilization. I do not buy a lens if it does not have image stabilization. That's a key factor uh, when I'm picking out lenses. And then for a little bit more style, I have the Canon Macro 100 millimeter. So this is a macro lens so it could get super close up detail shots of like whether it's a bug or plant or eyeball or something like that has a lot of detail in it to get some really close up photo, uh, photo detail shots as well as video. This macro lens is my favorite. Again, image stabilization. So when you're shooting video with it, you can keep it really steady. Uh, this lens is a monster, f2.8 as well, so super fast. So those are all the lenses that I am taking. Now, 
memory. Boom, they're like trading cards. These are my Samsung portable SSD drives. I did a video about them a while back. I now have three of them because they are so small, portable, lightweight, durable, shockproof, and uh, they're my favorite. Just like, I mean, they're so light and small. It's smaller than a credit card. You can fit all of these into a very small pocket or your pocket as you go. When you compare it to a drive like this, you know, this is a four terabyte Western digital drive. These are three of the Samsung portable SSDs. Not only are these uh, smaller and more compact in, uh, but they're also much faster because they are solid state drives than something like this. The reason I have this Western digital drive is specifically just to store files on. When I'm traveling, I use these to work off of. So to edit photos, to edit video, to work off of and store, I use these. But mainly to work off of because they're much faster. The data transfer speeds are much faster. Uh, this one's just mainly for storage and storing files on. These ones are each two terabytes uh, drives that I use to not only store files, but to work off of with my computer. Just makes everything much faster with these guys. Gotta talk filters. So this is like my little filter pack here. I have various Tiffin filters as well as one Polar Pro variable uh, ND filter as well. This is pretty much lives on all of my lenses. It's super important to have a polarizer and an ND. Uh, so this one from Polar Pro is super crucial. And uh, then in here we have some more NDs, some Pro Mist filters. I've made videos about Pro Mist filters in the past and how they can soften your highlights and kind of like bloom them out, give them a, a more filmic look and be less digital. A lot of cameras today are super digital. So Pro Mist filters right here are a great way. You can kind of see it there how it blooms out the highlights. It softens the video, gives it a more filmic look, not so digitized. Batteries, Hypercore batteries for my red. Just the Canon LPE6 batteries for uh, my Canon DSLR. Dual power charger for the Canon batteries. Comes with a little USB thing in the back you can pull out, or you can also attach um, a micro USB here, plug it in the wall, charge two batteries at the same time. While we're on the topic of batteries, I got some portable batteries right here that are power banks meant for charging your gear. So I have this smaller one that's more the shape and size of a credit card uh, that I'll use for super on the go, kind of in my pocket, maybe take it out on a day trip uh, where I charge. I can charge cell phones, GoPro stuff off of it. Uh, you can see the little battery, see that right there, full charge. So this I can slip in my pocket and just really have it uh, on the go and it'll be nice and uh, you know portable. And then I have this bigger Mophie power bank here. Again, this one's really nice. I love, it's very slim, th um, thin. It's got the iPhone actually plug right built into it, USB and micro USB as well. So this one's super durable um, and got some unique plugs attached, especially this iPhone uh, cable. That's super clutch because I have an iPhone and now you don't have to have an iPhone cord with you. You just take this and it's got a built in clutch to the max, Michael Jordan, game six. All right, what else we got, what else we got? Wipe down, microfiber cloth, must have, wipe down the lenses. Talking memory cards, I got a mixture of SanDisk and Lexar cards here. SanDisk and Lexar are by far uh, the most professional and high grade uh, memory cards. I always get class 10, get class 10 or higher for anything you're shooting so you don't have that slow lag time or potential errors when you're shooting video or photo. Make sure class 10 or higher, SanDisk and Lexar. A couple of the things I don't have with me, my bag right here, my camera bag, but are packed away in my suitcase. Fortunately, they're super packed in right now. Can't get to them because I'm about to leave. But uh, I have a universal charger. Um, that will basically have any kind of outlet combination so that when you're traveling the world or anywhere, you will always have the right plug that you can plug into into the wall, uh, depending wherever you're at. Also, one of the cool new ones, I have a new underwater rig for my Canon 6D Mark II from Aquatech. Uh, check them out, they're really good. Uh, a very affordable price point for the quality that they are. So I have that rig and uh, I'll be using that a lot for some underwater photography. Then we have the actual bag right here. It is a Think Tank bag. I think this is the accelerator bag. Nice, big, tons of storage, can fit my 6D, can fit all my lenses, can fit all this gear, can fit my red. Uh, so this is always my go-to travel bag. It's very safe, protective, big, portable. Like it's just the, my go-to bag for everything, really. 
And lastly, audio, I have a Zoom H4n that I'll be taking to capture just either my recordings uh, on the go or just, you know, I like to capture ambient sounds whenever I'm somewhere, whether it's the wind or the ocean or just the city. So I use that for this kind of ambient sounds, capturing audio, as well as this Rode microphone that's on top of this camera now. I use that microphone for the 6D, uh, just capture on the go, kind of vlog type audio or raw audio anywhere we go. So yeah, as far as gear, that's really it. I mean, I have my MacBook laptop that I use to edit photos and videos on the go, but outside of that, that's pretty much everything in my bag, everything I'm taking to Europe to shoot videos, photos, and just travel with and create some fun visuals. I'm gonna be shooting a couple things with Futuristic while we're over there, so some new music videos with him on the way. Look out for a vlog or some type of content. Uh, make sure to follow us on Instagram to follow along, keep up with all the adventures. Um, if you guys have any questions about the gear, uh, you know, let me know in the comments below. I'll be sure to respond. Everything I just showed you guys here today will be linked in the description. Go check out the description. Links to everything in there. Again, any questions, let me know. Thank you guys for watching this video. Hopefully this helps, gives you insight onto what I take on my trips. And that's it. I'm Jacob Owens for the Buff Nerds. And I'm out.